Right now we are at the Sushiki Fish Market. A lot of people come at like 4 a.m. to see the bidding and trading of the recently caught fish. But we were exhausted so we didn't make it. We came around 7 a.m. Uh, when all of the fresh fish is being delivered to these little restaurant stalls like the one behind me. And we're gonna let the chef just give us whatever's fresh and kind of experiment so hopefully it will go well. breakfast at the fish market in Tokyo. It was delicious. Everything was really good. It wasn't what I would like pick exactly, but it's totally worth it for the adventure and the freshness of it is awesome. And at the end, I said, excuse me, can I have the bill please? Which is sumimasen, okanjo, onageshimasu. And all the Japanese people in the restaurant went, went crazy and wild and were clapping and had a big reaction to that. So. Yeah, that one's a mouthful. Good job, Dave. Subway at Ikebukuro Station. We're on our way to meet the legendary Horimitsu. He's a legend in the Japanese Tabori tattoo game. He's been doing it for over 20 years. He's a member of the Horitoshi family, which is known for um, giving tattoos, full body tattoos, to the Yakuza gang. One cool thing about getting a tattoo in Tokyo is that they're purposely withdrawn from Westerners, so it takes a lot of extra effort. You have to do an initial consultation to show that the tattoo is meaningful to you. You have to be selected. Also, we're not, we had to go outside of the main Tokyo area. We're in a kind of quiet residential area, and the tattoo shop is kind of difficult to find, which makes it that much more fun and challenging. Just finished the tattoo session with Horimitsu. He did the outline of the peony by machine and then he did all the rest with Tabori, which is the hand poking technique. Uh, and it was uh, about a four hour session. During it I was trying to convince Aaron to get one. <laughs> with I such, thought about it. With such a well respected tattoo artist, but she didn't bite. And, uh, You're welcome. Mom, Dad, grandparents. No one would have known. <laughs> separated in a stall 
And then we were served by a headless torso. <laughs> After we pressed the button for service and it would ring a little melody, and the blind would shoot up. And the hand would come through. It was awesome because the whole experience, we didn't have to talk to anyone. We didn't have to look to anyone in the eye. The future. It is the future. No human contact. Join us next time when we visit Sensoji Shrine in Asakusa and Akihabara Electric Town.